There's a forgotten backyard method from rural Korea that quietly outperformed every modern fertilizer on the market. Generations of small-scale growers used it to turn poor, compacted ground into living, fertile soil without ever spending a cent on commercial feed. It wasn't magic. It was microbial science in its purest form. This natural fermentation technique, now rediscovered under the name Jadum Liquid Fertilizer, creates a living biosolution that regenerates soil instead of depleting it. And once you start using it, your garden becomes self-sustaining for good. The secret lies in feeding microbes, not plants. Most gardeners focus on feeding their plants directly with NPK fertilizers, but this Korean method flips the equation. Instead of dumping isolated nutrients into the soil, it supercharges the microbial community, the hidden workforce that unlocks nutrients already buried beneath the surface. Healthy soil doesn't rely on imported fertilizers because microbes constantly recycle minerals, fix nitrogen and release plant-available compounds naturally. The key to awakening that hidden fertility is simple. Give microbes the right food and environment. Korean growers discovered that by fermenting leaf mold potatoes and brown sugar in water, they could multiply billions of native microbes adapted to their region's specific climate and soil. This living brew reintroduces microbial diversity repairs dead soil, and increases nutrient availability faster than compost alone. Here's how the fermentation process works in practice. Start with 1 kilogram of chopped potatoes, a handful of leaf mold, and 100 liters of non-chlorinated water in a clean plastic drum. Boil the potatoes until soft, mash them, and add them to the water while still warm. Stir in the leaf mold thoroughly, then allow the mix to cool to room temperature. Once it's cool, add 300 grams of brown sugar, mix again, and cover the container loosely so gases can escape. Over the next 5 to 7 days, the mixture will ferment. The starch from potatoes feeds bacteria and fungi, the sugar fuels microbial reproduction, and the leaf mold supplies the initial cultures. When it's ready, the liquid will smell earthy and slightly yeasty, not rotten. A foul odor means oxygen was cut off or the sugar ratio was too high. This can be corrected by adding more leaf mold or stirring daily to restore balance. Once stable, you've created a microbial inoculant that can be reused indefinitely. To use, dilute the fermented liquid at a ratio of 1 to 30 with water for regular feeding or 1 to 50 for young seedlings. Pour this directly around the root zone or spray it on the soil surface. Always apply in the evening or early morning to protect microbes from UV exposure. Within two weeks, roots grow stronger, soil texture softens and nutrient absorption improves dramatically. For heavy clay or compacted beds, combine the liquid feed with coarse organic material such as shredded weed straw or rice husks. The microbes will digest this carbon source quickly, converting it into humus. This process builds permanent soil structure that holds moisture and oxygen, conditions where beneficial life thrives and fertilizer becomes unnecessary. Many gardeners report they no longer need compost piles because their soil itself becomes a composting system. Why industrial agriculture doesn't want this method to spread? Modern fertilizer companies rely on chemical dependency. Every bag of NPK kills off a portion of the soil's natural microbial network, forcing growers to reapply again and again. The Korean method breaks that cycle completely. Once your soil's biology is rebuilt, it begins generating nutrients continuously from organic matter and air. In effect, the soil becomes self-fertilizing. This is why such practices were ignored or suppressed when industrial farming took over. Large-scale systems can't profit from microbes that reproduce freely in nature. Yet in backyard and regenerative systems like Hydro Haven, this approach changes everything. It restores balance, reduces cost, and gives gardeners control over their soil's long-term fertility. For serious growers, this system scales beautifully. A 200-liter drum can service a small farm once diluted. The fermentation ratios stay the same. One kilogram of potatoes, a handful of leaf mold, and 300 grams of sugar per 100 liters of water. Stir daily, or, you know, install a simple air bubbler to keep oxygen levels up. Store finished batches in airtight jugs away from light. They remain viable for several months. 
During the growing season, apply weekly to vegetable beds or every two weeks for fruiting crops. You can even use it as a compost accelerator by pouring a small amount over decomposing material. Within days the temperature rises, decomposition speeds up, and the compost gains higher microbial density. It's the same biological engine, just applied differently. If you've ever dug into forest soil, you'll notice its rich scent, dark crumbly texture, and constant moisture. That's what JDAM fermentation replicates. Forests don't rely on fertilizer because the microbial community recycles fallen leaves and waste into nutrients. Korean farmers simply learned to harness that system and concentrate it in liquid form. When applied consistently, the soil transitions from chemically reactive to biologically active. Over months, nutrient-hungry weeds disappear, pest resistance improves, and plants form thicker stems with deeper roots. This is not just about fertility, it's about re-establishing an ecosystem underground. If you're tired of relying on fertilizers that deplete more than they give, it's time to turn back to biology. This Korean fermentation method gives every gardener the ability to grow nutrient-rich crops on living soil that regenerates itself. You don't need expensive products or commercial compost, just potatoes, leaf mold, and sugar. Start experimenting with one barrel, observe how your plants respond, and watch as your soil transforms from dull and lifeless to black and breathing. For more regenerative garden science and forgotten global growing methods, subscribe to Hydrohaven, share this video with your gardening community, and help bring natural fertility back where it belongs, in the soil, not the store shelf.